everybody welcome back um, just got this uh, Craftsman push mower with the uh, 149 cc Kohler Courage motor um, obviously as you can see it didn't start uh, I'm gonna take you through a couple steps just to kind of diagnose why it's not starting uh, I kind of have my suspicions but I'll show you what I do first so I want to rule out spark and fuel so what i'm gonna do is just take a little bit of carb cleaner and spray it right inside the carb and see if i can get it to spot. all right so we know it's got spark we know it has compression um kind of quick and easy way to to diagnose that so I'm going to uh, pull the carb uh, most likely dirty carb pour oil uh, pour fuel maybe some water in the fuel I'll go through everything cleaning that out and uh, see if we can get it to run all right let's get this carburetor off two 10 millimeter nuts Don't lose your gasket if it's reusable. Get that out of the way. Then once you get this linkage off, this is a T20 Torx. We'll take this screw off here. Don't lose that. Two of them. We'll free up this bracket. There we go. Now that that's out of the way, we can slide this back. Pull the governor linkage straight up and the spring. Take the fuel line holes off. And then there's the carburetor. All right, so the 10 millimeter bowl at the bottom here. This was for a drain. A lot of gunk in here. There's a jet in here. We're gonna take that out with, and we're obviously gonna clean up that. The gasket's actually in decent shape. I won't be able to reuse that. Um, let's take this out and take a look at the, the jet. There's also a uh, jet on this side, pilot jet I'm gonna take a look at. That came out easy. So there's you. Blow these out with some air and see if I can get, uh, get them free. Otherwise I'll use um, a jet cleaning tool. And that's clean. That was easy. This stuff doesn't look like it's caked on there. It was more like a gel. All right. So I'm just blowing through these little holes here. And they are now clear too. That's pretty good. And then I'm gonna take this jet out right here, a little pilot jet. It's a little idle screw here, pull that off. Pry this up. And then the jets here at the bottom, little holes that go through, I'm gonna blow some air through there, see if it clears. So let's put that back together. Blow through here quick. That's nice and clear. So this just pops right on top here. It's flat on the on the edges, so you gotta make sure those are lined up. Push it down, get your idle screw. It's plastic, so be careful not to strip it. And then that goes in to about you know half a quarter centimeter, half a centimeter, quarter centimeter past, just enough to keep the governor from going completely closed. Then motion tube goes back in, this end in first. And then the main jet with the flathead screwdriver side up. clean off 
off the bottom of this. And I'm going to take the needle and seat out, make sure that that is free and clean. And that looks pretty good. I should be able to blow through here. And I can. Um, there is a screen in here. Um, learned that from Donnie Boy. Uh, to catch some, it's like a, like a fuel filter. But if you blow from this side out, everything usually comes out of there. And that's nice and free. So, put the needle and seat back in with the float. Just like that. And now I'm going to see if I can clean up the uh, bowl here a little bit. Sometimes if these are really rusted or corroded, they will leak and they are not usable. You have to replace it. And it's cheaper to just buy a aftermarket car. It's getting there. Let's see if I can get some of that stuff out of the bottom there. Not too bad, you know, a little bit of old corrosion at the bottom, but it, there's nothing in there that'll come out into the jet and clog us up, so I think we're good there. I'm also going to hit this fuel line intake a little bit with some steel wool. back together so jets are both in there all right uh, I usually put the drain opposite side of the fuel line so that way it sticks out the front of the motor and I can drain that easier if I need to and then uh, gasket here looks pretty good too I'm gonna put the bowl nut pull uh, bolt back on and that's a 10 millimeter And then we're gonna reverse the order to reinstall it. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, get the governor arm on and the governor spring. I'm gonna attach the fuel line. I'll put those two tiny Torx screws back in to work the auto choke. I'll tor tighten those by hand. That's much better. Must have just been the water down at the bottom into the carburetor because now it's coming out pretty clean. I'll save the rest of that fuel. Mix it with some new stuff. All right, let's reattach the fuel line and the hose clamp. Put the gasket on. Release the fuel into the carburetor, make sure there's no leaks.
All right, step back for a second, see if this starts on its own. If not, I'm gonna get some fresh fuel in there. simple you know, three bolts pull the cover off I'll replace the spark plug I'll sharpen the blade I'll touch up a little paint so on the other side we got some uh, rust around the chute but yeah I think I should be able to sell for for a profit thanks for watching